Hey, beautiful people. So it's kind of had some creative block lately, but that's okay. So I, I had a couple of prom clients Saturday. I might do the other person's next week, but this is kind of one of the prom looks that I created. Somebody wanted black and silver, so I kind of formulated a look for them. And if you want to know how to get this look, just keep watching. But you know the drill before we get started, let's say a quick prayer. If you don't believe, just skip ahead. You can skip to the intro. That's when you know that the video is starting. Um, but Lord, just thank you so much for the person on the other side of the screen watching. They are a blessing in my life. So bless their life, Lord. And God, um, just remember me as I am having some issues with my health, Lord, and just heal my body and make it whole. And Lord, anybody that's having any medical or physical issues, Lord, just heal their life, heal them spiritually, emotionally, and mentally as well, Lord, and make them whole. And Lord, just have your way and let your kingdom come and your will be done. In Jesus' name, amen. Cue the intro. Right, guys so let's get into it I got my eyebrows on um, and I could have tried this out on a couple of my prom clients this weekend but I wasn't sure how this wore and I wanted to try it out first but in my boxy I got the Too Faced matte shadow melted chocolate in cocoa cream and it's just this like very it's kind of yellow toned which it's okay it's fine but I really wanted to recreate a look I did this weekend I actually enjoyed it like I was like, that looked kind of good. I think I want to try that on myself and show everybody else how to do it. So let's get into it. Let's chat while I'm getting ready. Get ready with me, even though I'm not going to do anything the rest of the day. But let's chat. Let's talk about life. Let's talk about, you know, just let's just chat. So when I do prom and bridal makeup, I take this with me. This is the only palette I take anymore. I have the Jeffree Star Orgy palette, which I bought specifically for weddings or for and for myself, really. But, um, yeah. So, I am going to start with the shade Enigma and just create a cool toned transition. We are going to wing out a black shade later and then use silver glitter. But, let's just like go step by step and make this easy. You know? So, um not gonna lie to you guys i've had like makeup block and i think that's been with like what's been going on with me i quit my job at the salon it's been like at least two weeks now it's been two weeks and um you know I'm not going to lie, I had plans on quitting. Just going to be totally transparent. I felt like my life was like flashing before my eyes. I felt like I never spent enough time with my husband. I didn't have time for people important to me. And no job is worth your time. And obviously I'm not going to quit my main job, which has supported me for going on four years now. I mean, yes, I would absolutely love to quit working there too and do TikTok and YouTube and have a great career. It's not so much a fame thing, just to do what I want to do and have a good following and have a big internet family. That's really more of what, like, I, I'm not going to have followers or fans. I want a internet family. Sorry. I think I have a big void because of family. I mean, yes, they love me, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I know I'm loved, but there's just a void because my family isn't the same as it was when I was a kid when we were one big happy family, if that makes any sense. But um, I just more or less want people that care about me and support me. And, you know, that was part of the wanting to quit, just feeling like I didn't have time for people and because I really was hardly seeing people. Okay, and then I'm going to take the shade Rumor Mule to start a gray gradient. That was something I wish I would have gradiented. The, that's not a word, but I wanted to, I wish I could have built up the wing better on 
but like one day I would like to quit my job and do just makeup on YouTube and you know so on and so forth and review things and you know beauty and YouTube and social media be my career but you know I have the understanding that I still need to work a job while trying to get there and that job was just it was like a big burden to me like yes I got my license I just have to pay and renew it like it like if I hadn't have got my license like spent time in a shop um I would have eventually had to went back to school and retested and redone all of it again so I sucked it up and worked somewhere for six months the pandemic hit so it stretched it out another three months because nobody was working in the salons nobody was allowed to be at the salons you know so on and so forth because that's what the apprenticeship is is working um under somebody until you get nobody was working so it got extended for like three months and I just kept working because I was comfortable and you know even though I wasn't being you know wasn't happy wasn't and to me it was more of a burden and I had planned on quitting I just didn't know when didn't know how was trying to think about it how to do it without burning bridges because I do not like to burn bridges I really don't um and it just it just came out that way anyways it just ended up burning a bridge but it was kind of because you know this past couple of weeks while well, I haven't been shooting and yes I've had a little bit of creative block I've been like you know resting I haven't really rested in a year and a half because I've been it was get up do one job go to the other and then I cut back my hours at the salon and I felt a little bit better but I still wasn't there so it was just to me a need to quit and it was better for me. I'm gonna go in with the shade Rock Bottom and wing out my eye. You know, it was just essential and detrimental to my health to just make that choice for myself. And it was important. And that's all that matters is that it was for me. It was for my health. It was, you know, for my mental health. I was just growing very frustrated with like, feeling like my content was rushed and it wasn't 100% work because, you know, my my internet family great quality content and from a well-rested person. And, you know, it just wasn't happening. I wasn't rest, resting. I was expected to be at the salon when I had nobody there waiting on me to get a service. It, like wanting dependable people but life happens you know people go through you know depression and you know what I'm saying they go through things and they need a break I at my main job he's very respectful and he really doesn't I mean ask I mean I'm sure if it was a an a point where it became a habit for someone to just be like oh I'm leaving work today I'm sure, yeah, he would start asking questions, but he doesn't pick and pry. He's just like, you know, just let me know if you need anything. He's one of those types of people, and it wasn't like that. And, you know, I was just, I was just tired of it, essentially, and just left. Didn't say nothing and left. And I hate that I didn't say anything, but, you know, something just happened. And it set me off and I was like, you know, I'm done. I'm, I'm just done. And, you know, and that's fine. You know, not everybody is going to support your decisions. Not everybody is going to, you know, be there or back you up. I mean, I did have a lot of good support with that. The point is, do what is best for you and what's gonna make you happy. Because even though I've like been sad that I've not put a lot out there since I've quit and I've been resting and trying to recoup my mind, 
I'm like genuinely excited for what I can create and what I have time to create now. It's not such a drag that, you know, I'm not doing that. Sorry guys, I'm just buffing this out so it's not so harsh looking. But you just have to do things that just, you know, that are just better for you. And you don't owe anybody an explanation. And that's just like the bottom line of it. I don't didn't owe anybody any explanation. Mental health and sanity. Because it's not a good feeling when you feel like life is just passing you by and you're getting nowhere and accomplishing nothing. I mean, yes, I have a lot of amazing followers on here and on TikTok and, you know, so on and so forth. But it doesn't feel great when you're not a comp, when you feel like you're, you have grown and then you just stopped all of a sudden. That's all I'm getting at. It's not an amazing feeling whatsoever all right so the crease cut looks a little bit wild but that's because it's black and it's turned gray on me so i'm gonna go in with the stila eye glitter in diamond dust now if you you know maybe don't have the bank for that i would absolutely go by the nyx vault and i am just going to cover the area that i've cut my crease with this glitter and i may And it's gonna look like that. But, um, anyways, back to chit chatting. And another thing, I've just got like a lot going on. Like, I am, I've got a lot of body issues. Like, I am so tired all the time. And I like never have energy anymore. And that's weird because of my age. I'm not like older, you know, where you kind of get tired and you know, so on and so forth. But you know, it kind of feels that way. I know, it looks like a mess. Just trust the process. Just trust the process. Okay. But yes, makeup looks like a hot mess until you finish it. But I'm gonna do a couple coats of this just because but like um so when my mom died i briefly talked about this in my wedding vlog my uncle's wedding um i was having issues waking up like i just would sleep so hard alarms would go off for hours like um my dad is staying with well my dad lived here and this is the house I'm buying. It's allowing him to stay here. It's one of those things. He told me that when he came in from work that he heard our alarms for 45 minutes. And he was like, that is so not normal. I was like, yeah, I know. I'm just gonna let it dry in it. And um, so I'm dealing with that too. Like I'm just very tired and want to nap and sleep all the time. And like I drink a pre-workout before going to the gym and I told my husband, I was like, I'm wore out being here for 10 minutes. Okay. So now I'm going to go in with the NYX Glitter Goals Liquid Liner in Crystal Ball. And I'm just going to line like right here. And it is gold and silver mixed together. I wanted, you know, to kind of someone looking like really close to detail to kind of see a difference in the glitter in my cut crease. So, and I'm just doing it to the half point because I'm gonna go back in with that black and blend this in together. It doesn't look great right now, but when it's blended back in, it'll be better. Gotta be really careful. For this part because the brush is kind of flimsy okay. 
And, and I just went overboard with it. It's fine. It's fine. It happens to the best of us. We are. Right. But I want that black and diffusing the edges a little bit. So it looks a little more gradient and blended instead of so harsh. But uh, yeah, my energy has just been totally whack. There's like no way to describe it. It's just been whacked up. But I am going to the doctor soon. So it's the 27th. So we'll just see if we can get some answers. You know what I mean? I think we're done with us. Now I'm gonna step off and clean up. All right, my lashes are on. Um, so they do come out right here. That's because I don't have eyelash. So now I'm gonna prime my face with this. My favorite. I'm gonna, oh, I'm gonna spot treat. And you let this sit while you're doing other things. And I'm gonna highlight and contour. Okay. Now I'm gonna blend this out. I'm not gonna do anything under my eyes. It's became quite a trend not to put anything under your eye. I'm just gonna blend this out and yeah. Sorry guys, my eyes are a sensitive area. It's very sensitive. Okay. Ooh. So I'm not uh, doing my like nose highlight because I'm gonna end up blending it out with my contour. So I'll do it after this bad boy that I've you've seen in like every YouTube video that I've ever done. So today I am gonna do the new uh, contour technique that I don't know how to describe it. It looks like a skeleton. You draw it like you're drawing your skeleton. But um, I'm gonna do that today. I tried it and I enjoy it. I'm just gonna say it. I enjoy it. So you go down and then ooh. See what I mean? It's like you're drawing your skeleton. <laughs> Skull. <laughs> Skeleton <What> technique. <laughs> I don't know if that's what's, what it's really called, but you know, we'll just go with it. And then Albra, Albra, <laughs> what was I even trying to say? Eyebrow down, curve my nose, go to the other eyebrow. Same thing. With my little button tip. And then forehead. Ooh, all the way around. All the way. Bring it around. Town. I'm just gonna blend this brown out. And you go up on your cheekbones to blend it out. But, um, I'm just like excited for the future now. Like when I quit, it was like a big anxiety thing about the future for no reason. Like I have really no reason to be anxious, but I was like a lot. And I'm just like glad that that's kind of behind me a little bit. I mean, yeah, I still am like, man, you know, 
when is the makeup game going to pick up for me? When are people going to start taking me seriously? When are people going to stop like joking, saying that I'm kind of insane for pursuing a, I don't know, you know what I mean? And I mean, I don't really care what people think about me, but I just wonder when, you know, the, the criticism is over. Which people are always gonna criticize you. I'm gonna go on with that contour and, and highlight my forehead and my nose. Chin just a little bit. Cause you know, you're always gonna have people that are watching you and they're, they, they're gonna have their own opinion about what you're doing, what you're into, what you like, what you don't like. You know, someone's just always gonna have an opinion no matter what you do. And you know, and that sucks, but you know what I'm saying? So you just might as well just do what you wanna do and let it make you happy. Okay. Now that that's all in, foundation. So I'm gonna try something different today just cause I'm sure you guys are tired of seeing the NARS Soft Matte. I'm gonna mix my It Cosmetic CC Cream with the ELF CC Cream because this is a little too light now and this is too dark. So I'm just gonna kinda Um, but yeah, um I think that anybody can do anything that they want to do as long as they set their mind to it. And you know, a lot of people don't think like that. Like I think that you can get any dream you want as long as you set your mind to it. You set the goals to get there and you want to work for it. Like you know, I've lost a lot of hours of sleep already doing TikTok and YouTube and you know. People don't think it's worth it, but I think it's worth it because it's something that I want to do with my life, you know? And that was another thing, like, at the salon, I could tell that people were criticizing that. Like, they were like, who does she think she is, you know? When, really, it's just, it's like, if, I mean, if you want something bad enough, you just need to go for it. You need to go for it. No matter who says things like that or thinks that. And you know, because one day, you know, they'll sit there and be like, oh wow, maybe I shouldn't have made fun of that person. You know, I always told people when we were in high school, you know, I always heard, oh, they're ugly. I said, you know, maybe one day they might be the CEO of a big company. And you're going to regret saying that about them. Like, I have that mentality. Like, you know, a lot of people were like, you could do so much better than your husband. But yeah, I'm not in a, a terrible relationship like most people are. Me and my husband are best friends and we have a great relationship. You know, people want to judge and pick and criticize people when they don't know the first thing about them. Yeah, I know it looks a little dark, but that's fine. And, you know, and that's wrong. And, you know, yeah, sure. Have I been guilty of it? Sure. I absolutely have been guilty of it. 100%. Um, but, you know, I know I'm, I'm not the first person and the only person that have done, has ever done that. But, like I said, I think that people are always going to pick and always going to criticize and you know so do what you love and you go for it don't let nobody stop you 
I'm just gonna wipe the rest of this off because it's a lot of excess. But I'm gonna check everything out first. And the reason why I personally like to contour, um, you know, is because it just looks better and it blends out better. That's like the basic bottom reason, bottom line. All right now I'm gonna set it with the Maybelline Fit Me really quick, just to set it, cause it's kinda sticky, kinda tacky, a little bit greasy. Now I pat on my face because I don't want the streak lines to show where I have set it. One mistake I always make is I put too much on the brush and it always gets on people's eyes. So be careful with that. Just gonna re-bronze with the better bronzer. You know what breaks my heart more than anything? I have a client. I consider her more of a dear friend than a client, but she was a client and that's how I met her. She's one of the most kindest and thoughtful people and I feel this way too. I'm gonna go on with the color pop, my top blush, but it breaks my heart. How people treat people when they get married, like, I don't, I'm not going to talk about mine a whole lot, my wedding day. I'm just going to be transparent with you guys because it'll cause a lot of issues. Because people love to deny their actions all the time. But, um, you know, I watched Say Yes to the Dread. It just baffles me how people treat someone and call themselves a friend. When someone's getting married, like... If a bride invites you to a wedding dress, Sean, you have no right to say, oh, you look like a clown in that. You need to go to the circus. That is so rude. Don't say stuff like that. There's a difference in being a friend and being like, that dress might not suit fit your body type and work and telling them something like that. And with my favorite highlighter, which is Pillow Talk by Oprah. But anyways, back to the client. I just, I feel terrible for her because, you know, she feels like she doesn't have friends right now. And to be quite frank, I don't blame her for, you know, saying, you know, I'm thinking about cutting these people off when my wedding's over. I don't, you know, blame her. <laughs> and it breaks my heart, you know that people are like that. That you know, people can't just show a little bit of kindness and grace to people. That breaks my heart so bad. But that's what I'm gonna take my next lip lingerie XXL in the shade Unhooked and this NYX Butter Gloss. I bought it in a big kit. They don't have names or numbers. Um, This one's Maybelline. I found it on the back. But it's just a topper to give me a nude look, a pouty nude look. That just devastates me for people.
All right. So I'm going to take the MAC Fix Plus and spray it on my sponge and just dab, 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 dab. It's very cold, by the way. So just prepare yourself. Just dab, 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 dab. video someone commented on one of my other videos and asked how I fix my hair so I'm gonna film that really quick for you all but I'll see you guys in a minute all right guys so I just got done finishing the hair tutorial so go check that out I'm not sure which order I'm posting the videos so this one maybe second I don't know just let me edit them and get it figured out but um I love you guys and I had fun talking with this chit chat Get ready with me. I'm gonna do just a close up, but ooh, that is the look. But I love you guys and I'll see you next week.